get in. Hey guys, watch here. My partner's standing inside my guard. He tries to cut his knee across. He's doing a knee cut, knee slide. Look, when he knee slides, I knee slide. Let's go back again. My partner's bringing his hands on my knees, one hand on the hip. He starts to cut his knee across. When he does this, look, he's putting his knee on the mat. Put your knee on the mat here. Now he's starting to breach the distance. Okay, he's getting too close to me. I cannot allow him to get this close to me. I'm controlling the distance. I'm here, I'm playing guard. My partner tries to cut his knee across. When he cuts his knee across, I cut my knee across. He's cutting his knee across, I'm cutting my knee across. Guys, I'm framing in his neck. I like to go C-grip in his neck because there's no gi. There's no lapel to grab. I go C-grip in his neck. Framing is not wrong. It's not wrong, but it's dangerous. He can pop my arm off here, okay? You can pop my arm off and put it behind him. When I C-grip, it's just more difficult. It's not impossible for him to pop my arm. I'm also connecting my knee to my arm. Now, if he tries to pop my arm off, go ahead, pop my arm off. It's very difficult, go ahead, pop my arm off. Look, my left, my left knee is protecting my left arm. If I just keep my hand hanging like this, no connection, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on No connection between my left arm and my left knee, he's gonna pop it off here, okay? Especially if I frame across here, with no connection between my knee and elbow, he's gonna pop it off, see? If I connect my knee and elbow, now he tries to pop it off. Look, I use my knee to defend my arm, okay? One limb is defending the other. My partner's knee sliding, I'm playing guard, look, he's knee sliding, look, I framed the cross, that's fine, as long as there's a connection. Now if he tries to pop my arm off, very difficult, see? And I can start to regard. The first one is I regard, very important. I control the distance, I kept him at a distance, and I just simply regard. Okay, let's see it again. My partner knee cuts, look, I knee cut. He knee cuts, I knee cut. He knee cuts, I knee cut. I bring my foot inside. I'm framing in his neck. I'm connecting my knee and elbow together when I frame. I create a distance. I create distance between me and him. And I point my knees back at my opponent and my feet back at my opponent. Okay? We're controlling the distance. I saw the knee cut happen. My partner goes to knee cut. I saw him coming. Look how I connect my knee and elbow. I shrimp. Look how I bring my torso away from him. And I can bring my leg inside. I don't try to regard when my torso is very close to his. Okay, my partner knee cuts. Look, I don't try to regard like this. Now I can't bring my leg inside. Look how I shrimp away. I create a distance between me and him. And now look, I can bring my leg inside quite easily, quite comfortably. I create a distance between me and my partner, okay? We're doing distance control. I don't want his chest getting close, too close to my upper body, okay? Guys, that's really, really simple. You create distance with your knee, you shrimp your body away, and you just simply regard, okay? It's super simple. We're gonna use that technique very often. My partner closes the distance. Look, my partner's in tight. I cannot push him away. Now it's time for me to invert. Look how I put my right toes on the mat, and I spin outside under his arm, and I go right away into K-guard. From here, I'm pummeling my legs into a crisscross ashi, okay? We're gonna see that real slow, nice and easy. My partner's close the distance. Look, he's close the distance. Look how I put my right toes on the ground. I start to spin. I start to spin on my right shoulder, like this. I'm creating distance now, I'm pushing him with my knee. I'm cross blocking like we talked about. I'm inverted now, my knees are pointing down. Notice I'm gonna tuck my head between my legs, watch. I tuck my head between my legs. And now look, I'm in my K guard. From here, guys, I'm just gonna lasso. I'm gonna lasso, don't, don't spin. Keep your knee on the floor. Look, I'm gonna lasso. I'm gonna pass my left leg behind his knee. I have one foot in front of his leg and one foot behind his leg. And from here, I'm heel hooking. Okay? If my partner backsteps like Etienne was doing, I can just follow him over. Okay? I'll just follow him over. There's a lot of details on that. We're not gonna cover them now. Okay? Guys, you have two maneuvers. One really simple, one a little bit complicated. We gotta learn them both. He gets in close, look, I caught him early. I created distance, look how my shoulders moved back. I brought my foot in. I didn't have to spend any energy spinning. My partner knee cuts. He's getting close to me, look how I shrimp and I get inverted. My knees now are pointing towards the ground. Notice the next maneuver. I'm tucking my head between my legs, watch. I tuck my head between my legs and now I find myself in a K guard. I'm gonna lasso with my right leg and I'm gonna start to invert again. You'll notice I'm always inverting. You see me in the type of Granby position here. It's very important that I get my hips off the ground. Let's see, let's see, I do it here. My partner's on the floor. The first one, he's gonna knee cut, create a distance. He's gonna knee cut right back. Look, I knee cut, he knee cuts. He created a distance. He's gonna bring his leg back in, okay? Let's do it again. As my partner tries to knee cut on me, I knee cut back. Create a distance, create a distance, create a distance. Yeah, create a distance. And now you just bring your bottom leg back in and your established guard. Okay? On the second one, I get my knee across. My knee gets in deep. 
I get in deep. Now Etienne's going to start to invert. Start inverting, inverting, invert. Freeze. His knees are pointing down towards the mat. His head now is going to tuck between his knees. He's going to do a type of Granby roll. And now he's in K-guard. Now he's going to throw that, le that lasso in. He's going to crisscross one leg in front, one leg behind. Now he's got my legs trapped. If I try to back step now, I won't do much. He's isolated my leg. And now he's going to be doing a heel hook here, okay? Also, don't forget, he's collapsed my hips to the ground, okay? Guys, let's give it a try. <laughs> 